All right, so let's talk about variables um, in, in the Snowflake scripting with the procedural code. Before we use a variable, we have to declare it. Um, when we de declare a variable, we, we put in here, you must specify the type that might not be exactly correct, um, but, but that's, again, a, a recommended, a strong recommendation. We're recommending it so strongly that we put it in here as a must. If you declare a variable, there are certain times when if you declare a variable with like an expression where we're assigning the value to the variable, uh, Snowflake will try and figure out what that data type is, uh, but that can cause some issues. And if it can't figure out what the data type is, then you're gonna get a failure, it's gonna fail. And so we highly recommend that you define, you explicitly uh, define the type. And so it could be any of the SQL data types except for the geospatial feature. That's a, gonna be a future item that's gonna come out. It can be a cursor, it can be a result set, it can be an exception. Um, and so... And that, by uh, the way, is the best practice. Anytime you do programming, we've got strongly typed languages. We want to make sure that we know the type of the variable. The, that compiler shouldn't be guessing what type of variable it is. Yeah, let's let's make it easy, right? Let's make it... We like it. We all like it when people make it easy on us. Let's make it easy on the compiler. And... And then it will save us from some some issues and and problems that we're going that we could possibly have down the road where we'd be pulling our hair out uh, you know to try and figure out what's going on. So so we can um, declare variables in the declare section as I mentioned and within the block within the begin and the end block. So let's talk about that a little bit. So if we're going to declare a variable in the declare section of the block, there are different ways that we can do it. So we can have variable name and then the type with uh, ended with the semicolon. Uh, every statement inside of our block of code, and you'll see this, uh, ends with a semicolon. Um, but when we run that block, it understands it's a procedural block, so it will run all of those. Um, we don't have to highlight every one of those lines and then, you know, say run this all together. Um, it understands it's a block. So we can also do variable name default, um, or we can do variable name colon equals, and then have some expression. Um, so as you mentioned up, I mentioned up above, you know, we could, it could be a result set. It could be, you know, lots of different things there. Um, so we could do that without the type, but again, we're saying, you know, make, make it easy, uh, declare it with the type. And so that's our third example here, variable name type, you know, record set, right? Uh, colon equals, you know, select this from this table and that's our record set or, you know, whatever the value is. So maybe this is a varchar or it's a, uh, you know, in whatever that is. So, if we are going to declare the variable inside of the begin and end uh, section of the block, then uh, you can see that we have to use the let. Uh, and you'll see this in, in when we're doing, running the demo in the sample code. Uh, so we have to use the let. Um, so variable name type default or uh, colon equal sign and then the expression with a uh, semicolon at the end of the line. Or we can do it without the type, but again, we highly recommend that you define the type as we go through. Hey folks, thanks for checking out this cut from our broadcast. To see the full show, click on the link in the video description. Also, check out our learning center, which has white papers, events, live streams, and short explainer videos on a wide range of data management topics. And of course, if you like our content, please share it on LinkedIn. That really means a lot to us. Thanks again for checking us out, and we hope to see you in our next broadcast.